It is officially back. Chapter 1 in Fortnite Creative 2.0 dropped today less than an hour ago. You guys know Creative 2.0 came out yesterday. And well, finally, it is out. Shout out to Team Atlas for dropping this map. There's a lot of other project teams doing similar things. So we'll see how Atlas goes and we'll compare it to some of the other ones. But check this out. Okay, a little bit of a buggy battle bus. Okay, <laughs> where do we land? Where do we land? I think we got to go the OG. Anarchy Acres, bro. Oh my god. Check out the map as well. By the looks of it, first hand, this is a pretty good replica. I can't lie. Now, there was a few bugs according to the Atlas team in their Discord. Apparently, they've had to get rid of things like the jail POI. Supply drops aren't possible. And it's all down to being a big memory issue uh, for them, which is understandable. And it's kind of Fortnite limiting uh, the possibilities with Creative 2.0. So let's try to get our first win of Chapter 1, just like the good old days, baby. Oh, my God. Listen, the old f sound effects as well. What on earth are these? Rainbow crystal? I don't know what a rainbow crystal is. Guys, do let me know in the comments as well. How are you guys liking Creative 2.0 and what is your favorite map so far? This is cool, bro. So I believe this is set, correct me if I'm wrong, chapter one, season two. So this is actually the realistic loot pool from back in those days, bro. Look at this, the bush. They should unvault the bush, but to be fair, the bushes like this aren't, aren't even on the chapter four map anymore. It's kind of crazy that we've been playing Fortnite for four chapters. That connected. Later. Now, another sad thing about this is only 30 players can play it. Again, I'm pretty sure it's down to limitations because of Epic. And although it's not really Epic's fault, they're probably limited themselves somehow. Eventually, you know, this map is going to be hopefully fully fledged. A lot of people have been complaining about bugs and things. But again, like I said at the start, the map's only been actually out for about an hour. So if you guys do want to play it as well, link is down below, of course, after this video. Check it on out. I hear another guy shooting over there as well. I need a shotgun, bro. I love the hunting rifle. It's one of my favorite guns, but get this out, bro. Bro, it just doesn't want to give me one. Yo, we can rock another chug jug, though. I'm down. So one of the little problems is you can't actually see, see the zone coming in, which I don't know why. I don't know why. And the map is also a little buggy. You can't kind of <laughs> kind of can't see anything. So you can see there's only 13 players left. <laughs> But visually, it's a pretty spot-on replica. Now, I'm sure you guys have all seen them. There's projects out there. I believe some of the names are Project Nova, Era, things like that. Those are actually completely sort of separate games where you download them online and you can play it with a small server. Oh, we got a guy over here. Oh, come on. I got to get a snipe. Oh, wait. Oh, we got to go for this guy. Wait. Correct me if I'm wrong. Oh, my God. The slow walking is still a thing. That's amazing. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh, my God. There's a guy up above. Oh, my days. I crap myself, bro. Oh, no. No. Later. Oh my god, we got no mats again. Oh, see ya. Now, I just realized sliding's still a thing. In my opinion, I think they need to remove that to make it feel even more like old Fortnite mantling as well. Obviously, he wasn't definitely not here back in the day. So little touches like that, I think they have to improve on and, and, and bring those aspects back, you know? Oh my god, the scoped AR rifle. I forgot about this gun. All right, we got seven players left. We could get this win. Easy peasy, man. Now, we got a video dropping pretty soon where we're going to be checking out some of the craziest detailed Creative 2.0 maps. Like, check this out on screen for some examples that were shown by Epic Games yesterday. I mean, the future of Fortnite is actually truly here. But I definitely think Epic do have to be careful when it comes to copyright and things. I've seen a few things where Mario's being brought to the game already. Oh, look at this, though, bro. Let's get right on top and see the OG map. Look at this, bro. Oh, my God. Salty Springs is over there. The big... Oh, bro. 
Only the sweats used to get to the top of this and have fights up there, bro. Oh my god. The bridges. Oh, we gotta go over here. Let's go through Tilted and we can check out some of the older places over here. My memory sucks, so I don't even know if I'm gonna remember some of the names. They're not, they're not even listed on the map either, which is a shame. Again, I hope they do little details like that, though, man, to make this experience even better. So far, though, not bad. There's been a lot of complaining about it being super laggy, clunky, but I don't think. I don't think. Oh my god, he boogie bombed us both. Come here, sir. Come here, you're not getting away with that. Oh, nice try. <laughs> nice try. Bro, I don't think anyone has got a shotgun in this at all. <laughs> all right, beautiful stuff. That guy had a load of materials as well, man. Tilted looks sick, though. It really does. And it kind of looks... The colors look really similar, which I was uh, a bit concerned and worried about. But they're really similar, which is nice, man. You guys have done an amazing job, in my opinion. As we were talking about with extra projects and things, now that Creative 2.0 is here, um, you know, we've got things from people like Reboot Rally, and I'm sure we're going to see a lot more, but definitely Reboot Rally and Atlas right here are definitely the main competitors when it comes to bringing back a, a, an OG experience. We've got a guy over here as well. Come on, sir. Oh my god, we're going in. We're going in. Oh my god. You know what else I think could be really fun and bring back a lot of the nostalgia? They should limit turbo building and remove it from the game because I remind me if I'm wrong in the comments. I'm sure turbo building was brought in around the end of this season, maybe season three. And obviously, you know, people are going to be coming in here, sweating around, yada, yada, yada. Oh, I see that guy. See, so zones here, and I have no idea where and <laughs> when it's going to stop. So let me just make my way to zone. But things like removing sprint and removing mantling are going to really just bring this experience all together. And also, fix up the zones. It's a 10 ticket scene right now, bro. Three alive. Oh, the RPG. <laughs> oh, he got sniped by a different guy. It's a 1v1. Don't have a launch pad. Don't have any bouncers. YOLO, we're going for it. Oh, my God. So, like, you can see, like, I can fully... This guy's crazy with the snipes. You can tell this guy's an OG. Are you crazy? What? He's nearly hit all these snipes on me, man. 120. You're nervous. Now, I don't know where Zone is, so I'm just going to get myself away. But, like, you can see I can fully sweat this out. And although that is fun, I do think to bring back the OG vibes, they can limit it up. I don't know where this guy is, but I can't lie. This guy's pretty crazy when it comes to the snipes. But I still think being able to do this in Fortnite's great. And I hope they can eventually bring in 100 players as well. That's going to really make it special. Were shotguns not in this season? <laughs> no one has shotguns. Uh-oh. <laughs> Did this guy just see for me? Question is, where are you? Looks like it pulls this way. Is it expanding out? Oh, no. How fast is it moving? What? I'm dead. What is this? I got the win. <laughs> Let's go! This map is fantastic. Well done to Atlas. We're going to be playing this a hell of a lot on our Twitch stream, so come on over.